Hi again, uh, this is going to be a video on my air cooler. One of the biggest problems with my air compressor, the big one, as you'll see in the other videos, is that it's you know it's going to be pumping a lot of air and it gets does get hot, and the air coming out of it was just you know it was just it was full of water, you know, and that's no good. If you're trying to sandblast with that, you just no, it's just not going to work. And uh, so basically, this is where my air comes out. Just uh, an inch BSV screw uh, nut there, and it just hooks up to the pipe. Follows the pipe down there, and comes in to, yes, a propane tank. And what you can see here, you see the weld there. That's where I sliced it. And I cut it up right the way, so it was in two halves. And then there's a three mil plate in here. The whole, all of it's three millimeter thick. So I've got a three mil plate, and that separates the two. And then in here, there is this is full filled with water right to the top. Well, not all the way to the top, but nearly to the top with water. And then in this pipe here, it comes down right angle. It goes down to about here, I think. I mean, I can't quite remember. And looking at the top, what happens is it, it's gone down, and then it goes along, it goes a right angle, then along for about 200 mil. Yeah, 200 mil, then it goes along again, 200 mil, and then along again, 200 mil, and then it goes to a right angle down, then a right angle again, straight underneath it, and then along 200 mil again, 200 mil, 200 mil. So it's underneath that first one, and then it goes straight down gets to about there and it goes through a larger pipe and it goes straight down to the bottom so the idea is that when it's been in here it's cooled down and so all the air is separated, all the water is separated with the air and it goes down there and with the air doing a u-turn and straight back up through a pipe that pipe there it's the water has been spat out and it'll just sit in the bottom and then slowly fill up and I've got a little valve on the bottom or just a screw that I take out and then empty it. Uh, I mean, after an hour, there wasn't all that. There was only a wee bit of water in the bottom of it, so, so it's not too bad. Uh, when it's when it's working, this pipe here is you know really hot, and it's you know it's extremely flexible. Here right now, it's quite stiff because it's cold. And so all that's, you know, it's nice and stiff, but when it's going, it's, you know, this is all really flexible. And then on this side, even the steel is cold. It's nice and cold. Uh, so, I mean, it's doing it, that was after, or even after an hour of running. It con continu not continuous, I stopped a few times, but only for a few minutes. Uh, so, I mean, you know, but I'll have been... I reckon I'll have done at least a good 45 minutes of continuous operation and it was, you know, it was good and cold at this end. And of course, you know, the kind of the proof is in the pudding when, you know, it's working, there's no water coming out here, the air is nice and cold and it was blasting, I wasn't having any clogging up problems, no nothing, it was absolutely beautiful. So, I mean, I'm quite pleased with this. It's doing a good job. It's, it's kind of like a... Phrasinator. That's what they call the Google Phrasinator there. It'll show you. I mean, this isn't like a Phrasinator as such. The, the Phrasinator is like a, is a big, large bit of two inch pipe, maybe about, I think, a meter or so long, and it'll go up vertically. And that will, the air comes in from the top, I think, and it goes down. And as it goes down, it cools just with air, and then that separates, and then you've got it goes right the way down and just a little bit up from the bottom there'll be a right angle take off where the air goes out and so with that you know that right angle turn the air, the water drops out from the air as it goes, as the air goes down the water just keeps going straight down and it just had a valve on the bottom and I mean I'm sure that would have been fine for most compressors but I wasn't too sure if that would be adequate enough for this I mean I kind of wanted water cooling in it and so I had this propane tank lying around, so I thought, you know, I'll give it a go. Uh, the other good thing is, it, it's well, I, I didn't design it with this. It was 
kind of I was a bit overconfident with my welding and there's must be little air leaks in there so a bit of air comes out and I fitted that wee hole there and what I'm thinking is because the air is going through the water it's going to be filtered out and it's going to be nice good air and there's no oil or, or anything and so that could I could use that for breathing air and have that fed into a mask for when I'm sandblasting so you know I've got like a, an air fed mask and I'm not having to get air from somewhere else, I can just get it from there and it's filtered through the water so it should be good and clean. So I mean that would, that, sh that should work hopefully. Uh, that's, I think that's it. Yeah. Uh, I've just got a drain valve there and then I'll just drain the water out at the end of the day because right now we still be in Scotland, we still get, you know, it's the middle of April and we're still getting days when nights when it's freezing. You know, so I would come in here one morning if I'd left it, it's probably, you know, big ass hips on it if I'd left it, so I have to keep draining it out, but also, it, you know, it stops it rusting up. Uh, so, if you have any questions, just send me a message and I'll be happy to help. Right, thanks.